Hello, and welcome to my YouTube. It is Sunday, February 18th. I am amateur music video director and want-to-be writer and future big-time Hollywood filmmaker Mark Wilkinson here in sunny Los Angeles, the City of Angels, it's called. There was once a film called City of Angels, which I never saw because films are rubbish, um, but it featured probably the best song ever written. Before I moved out to Los Angeles from the Midwest, I promised my friends that I would start a video blog so they could keep up with um, my adventures and conquests and particularly all of my failures. So whether you're my friend or not, you're welcome to come along and watch me become big and famous, and by that I mean slowly starve to death and watch my dreams shrivel and die. I'm 22, I write, direct, and uh, I want to get into moving pictures. I studied film and video at Columbia College in Chicago, and right now I'm finishing up my degree at uh, Columbia's remote campus at Raleigh Studios in Hollywood. So for the next five weeks, I'm writing a new feature, which will be my sixth and all, but only my fourth that I would actually show to anyone, and going to guest lectures and learning about writing coverage and finding work and whatnot, and then it's just out into the big scary world. I plan to take on this big time Hollywood filmmaker goal in a few ways. And when I say big-time Hollywood filmmaker, I'm mostly joking. I'd be much happier doing really low-budget, independent films with more creative control. The film Brick really inspired me, which Ryan Johnson wrote, directed, and edited, and made for under half a million dollars. It's this great little film noir piece set in a Southern California high school starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and if I could do something on that level someday, that would be the dream. Um, I look up to Ryan a lot, so you'll probably hear me name drop him often in the future. So yeah, as I was saying, I intend to tackle the small-time indie director goal in a few different ways. One, I mean, I'm here to work, start at the bottom and work whatever intern or PA work I can get. Just try to work my way up, annoy people uh, with my pitches and treatments and ideas and scripts and past work until someone agrees to throw money at me and fund one of my projects. Two, I'm also getting ready to do the festival circuit. Uh, last semester, I shot my thesis film for uh, Columbia College called The October Crisis, which is a a story from a feature film that I wrote by the same name. Uh, with this I was sort of inspired by James Wan and Leigh Whannell when they wanted to make the original Saw film, which I unashamedly love. Instead of just pitching the idea to people on paper, they reworked some of that story into a script for a standalone short and shot it, uh, shot it on real film so they could show to potential funders exactly what they could really do with that story. So that's what we did. Uh, we shot the October Crisis short last fall on Codex Super 16. And uh, now we're wrapping up post-production with sound mixing and special effects. And starting next month, I'll be taking that to festivals with the goal of being able to sit down and pitch that feature to anybody that'll listen. And when that doesn't work out, I'll continue making more short films and spec projects and taking those to festivals, um, and, you know, we'll see what happens. Three, I also direct music videos. I've done five or six videos for smaller artists around Chicago, and I'm hoping to expand that out here. I'm, I would love to just be a music video director. Um, Mark Webb has been a big inspiration for me, even before he transferred over to film. How funny is it that the director of the new Spider-Man film, his last name is Webb? That's good. I really love stupid puns, so if you don't like stupid puns, this may not be the vlog for you. Oh, and four is the option where I just work out here for years doing whatever I can in film and TV and eventually save up enough money to shoot a micro-budget feature on my own. So that's essentially what I am doing here. Uh, I just got out here like a week ago, drove out here from Illinois on my own, uh, and that was its own adventure of all of the road trip cliches car breaking down, peeing on the side of the road, creepy guys in truck stops, watching the sun light up the Grand Canyon, and it was all really great, mostly because I ate three bags of donuts on the way down here. That was definitely the best part. Oh no, helpful girl at Flagstaff that helped me buy this camera for like two hours when apparently none of my methods of payment were valid and it took like three banks and six guys and nine phone calls to finally get me to buy my new fancy camera. That was my, and Flagstaff in general actually, that's, Flagstaff is a surprisingly quirky and good smelling city. So this week I've just been writing a lot, finishing up a new feature script about the perceived importance of finding love at a young age, set in the world of high school theater called The Drama Club, and other than that I've just been exploring, walking around the neighborhoods, walking up and down the beach and overeating a lot. Somehow I magically got into Grammy rehearsal on Saturday, so I got to see Paul McCartney shred with Dave Grohl and almost physically ran into Rihanna and scowled at Chris Brown. And yesterday I saw Anton Yelkin uh, riding his bike on Venice Beach, so that was weird. Anton wasn't so weird as just Venice Beach is very bizarre. There's homeless comedians on rollerblades and the very pungent smell of marijuana on 
everything. You know what I love? I love the OC. And everyone kept telling me, now Mark, you know it's not going to be like the OC out there. And I just smiled and nodded, even though I knew that was total crap, because my whole life growing up was just like Dawson's Creek. So of course, when I get out here, then it's going to be the OC, right? And you know what? It really is. There are palm trees, and these giant houses in gated communities, and there's dead mouse rehearsing with Foo Fighters, and hot tub parties where my wallet gets stolen, and there's always a party or some sort of special event, not even just every weekend, but almost every day, and the amount of just young adult drama and sh secret secrets that I've experienced over like the six days of being here, and every morning I get up and have a bagel in my sunlit kitchen, and the pier, and the third street promenade, and everyone is still riding skateboards. The dream of the OC is alive in Southern California, which is exactly where it should be. My parting advice to you would be this. If you're driving around with a terrifying pig mask strapped to the passenger seat of your car as if it were another person, don't park in a Beverly Hills neighborhood in the middle of the night and get out and start walking up and down the street shining a flashlight at the numbers on the houses. Someone will call the police alarmingly fast. Just, just trust me on that. It'll happen. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to keep up with my modest successes and overwhelming failures, and click here to uh, check out my personal YouTube channel with some of my short film and music video work, and click in the link down in the doodly-doo to check out my website that has all of my films and photography and resume and all that good stuff, and I'll see you all next week. Yoga Lotties.